hey, so many golfers uh, make a move called coming over the top. Uh, in this video, I'm going to define it, hopefully give you some tips that are going to get you out of it. So stay with me. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com and today we're going to talk about the horrible move called over the top. So let's take a look what over the top means. To me, an over the top swing is on, when on the downswing, the right shoulder stays high and goes out over the target line like this. It be, could be accompanied with a little bit of a forward head rock like this. Um, often it can be accompanied by a lack of motion at the hips and the lower body as well. The two typical shots that an over the topper would tend to see would be a low pull and a high slice that starts either straight or even a little bit left and then ends up to the right in the rough or deep into the trees. It will also give you a super steep angle of attack. It will give you a very high rate of backspin. And overall, you'll see here on the right, <laughs> the, the numbers I hit on that bad slice ball, that I literally lost 50 yards compared to an, an optimally struck ball at the same speed. Now, there are two common ways that golfers will get over the top, depending on your setup and your backswing. The first way is if you are already set up over the top right at the address. So my right shoulder is high and out over the target line. And this would just encourage, you see this down and across swing pattern. The other way, and the most common way that golfers tend to come over the top is they do a figure eight a reversal. Let me show you. They might set up okay, and they might even get the takeaway going back low and on the inside. But when they get about halfway up, their arms will start to lift above the plane line and continue to circle as if they're forming a figure eight. That would look something like this. Okay, let's start with the first example where I set up over the top because if we're going to get rid of the over the top and you're in this category where you set up over the top, let's figure this out first because that's going to make the rest of it go a lot smoother. So here I am again in my over the top position with my right shoulder, basically my chest and my hips are open or pointed to the left. My right shoulder is high and over the top like this. Um, this is pretty extreme. I usually don't see that extreme sometimes. Usually it's a little bit somewhere in the middle, like maybe like this. So what we're going to do to fix that, we're going to give the spine a slight secondary tilt. So I'm going to set up towards you now, but in my over the top position like this. So you see right now that my chin is in front of my belly button. So essentially what I'm going to do is reverse the two, put myself, I'm going to give a little bit of a, of a bump in the hip this way while the head stays in the center. 
and that's going to drop my right side of my body slightly under. My right hand should not try to resist and get back to throw my shoulder off again, but my right arm needs to kind of feel like it's coming under more. It fits right under without disturbing the beginning position of the shoulders. In addition to creating that little bit of secondary tilt at a dress, the over the topper will also need to feel. So there's the tilt. They'll also need to feel like their back is facing to the target more, something like this. So they can try to get the shoulder line even pointing to the right. If you can get yourself pointing a little to the right and upwards on the driving range, it's going to tend to help you hit a high draw instead of the low peeling slice. Okay, now let's take a look at the mechanics we're gonna need. Starting from near the top, where the over the top tends to begin. The over the top doesn't usually start on the downswing. It actually starts as the golfer completes the backswing. You'll see they'll be maybe under the plane here, or in some cases. And then as they complete the backswing, they'll start to lift the arms way into position like this. What we want to make sure we do is that we go into our transition by again creating a secondary tilt, even bigger than the one that we created at a dress. So if I'm here and I'm at the top of my swing here in my hips, I want to reverse this tilt and I want to push laterally over to where my pelvis is centered right on top of my heel. I can stand on one foot and you see what this is doing is dropping my right side under. The club is going to respond to that. You literally cannot come over the top when the right side drops under. So here comes the backswing. As I go into transition, shifting as I'm turning my body, I am pushing into a side bend and that's dropping my right side under and see, I, I, I just can't come over the top anymore. Yeah, I suppose you could probably find me somebody who still does. Um, <laughs> we can figure out how to make weird movement patterns sometimes. But typically, if you're feeling like you can bring it up like this and then position yourself as if you're going to skip a rock. you just simply can't come over the top anymore. You see, if I were to try to throw a rock this way, you see, I would, I would splash it right into the lake to my left rather than actually making it skip. So if you've ever skipped a rock before or thrown a sidearm pitch like that, then it'd be very easy for you to get out of the over the tops. And just keep in mind, the pivot we need as we're going into the top of the swing, we start to push the left hip towards the target as we're turning. The head needs to stay in the middle, so you can't blow this by making the head travel with it. We're trying to make the belly button get about six or seven inches out in front of the chin so that we end up in what we call a secondary spine tilt just like this. This drops the right side under the left, allows you to get out of over the top position. You will tend to come in with the shaft much shallower and that's going to make it a little bit easier for you to square the club face. It'll also make it a little bit easier for you to come on the inside as well. So now let's take a look at doing it the opposite way. Let me see if I can demonstrate uh, the opposite of an over the top. So I have my left arm measurement here. I'm going to turn a little bit extra to the right and then I'm going to do a slight bump of the hip targetward 
to create a tilt and then I'm not going to fight it with my right arm. So you're going to see my right arm is underneath my left from this perspective. And instead of hitting a over the top, outside in and downward slice, I actually hit a nice towering high draw there that really got some good distance relative to the effort that I put into it. So when discussing or trying to fix the over the top, always remember these two things. The checkpoint on the setup, make sure that instead of being like this, that you were like this. You can even overdo it on the range a few times. And then the second thing is, you wanna make sure, and you should practice this at home against the wall, that you are shifting down the wall about six or seven inches towards the target and turning to get the shoulders on a tilt. That way you can come under, throw it from the inside, hopefully turn over a little bit of a draw and get more distance. Hey, I sure helped you. If you had an over the top problem, let me know. Um, if it helped you, please leave a comment letting me know. Or if you have any questions about any of the things that I talked about in this video, I'd love to. Um, I answer most comments. I'd love to answer yours. Hey, thanks to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California. I hope you'll check out some of my, some of my other videos and I'll see you next time, hopefully down the fairway.